and watch them you Ooh, and watch them you remember you was on your tiptoes nigga hey though that's crazy that dance was the fire and watch them you welcome back everyone today we have something truly wild for you brace yourselves for clips of charleston white dropping some controversial bombs that are bound to make you sit up straight in your chair like what? In today's video, we're diving headfirst into the chaos that ensues when Charleston White decides to troll an angry person or when Charleston White decides to troll people online. Trust me, the reactions are priceless and you won't want to miss a second of it. Dealing with figures like Charleston White can be a roller coaster ride. You never know what you're going to get or what to expect, especially when it comes to the reactions they provoke. It's a challenge navigating through an unexpected twist and turns that follow. Picture this. Charleston White, with his signature smirk, deciding to test the waters with angry people online. What follows is a mix of confusion, frustration, and pure comedy as people try to make sense of his antics. He can't sure be. The they don't have big <laughs> Chinese men don't have dicks. They can't never Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think do do you believe that? Do you believe that uh Chinese men uh ain't packing down there? I'm not curious. Just a question. The, just strike up a conversation in the comment section. No diddy. Let's get back into this. There would be no big nigga. They can't talk how I talk because my is bigger than a Mexican man. My is bigger than a Chinese man. I can go to China and I'm King Kong. Biggest. Saying you can go to China and you're King Kong is a crazy statement. That's mad funny, but that's crazy at the same time. My dick is. Asian, we go to an Asian country. I so big they won't even give us no a pussy no no is that true have y'all ever been told that when y'all went to an asian country no black man no long long when we go to y'all ever been told that no long long to the asian massage parlor they got to try to go get the honduran from up under the bed this cave hey yo y'all ever heard y'all ever seen a honduran girl stuffed up under the bed in an asian massage parlor let me know in the comment section below. Then, so they won't let us that look tight Asian the hole because I too big. Shoes mean nothing in 2050. Yeah, in 2050, nigga Michael Jordan tennis shoes won't mean nothing. Small folk might kill you when you show up and you toting a uh, 300 pair of tennis shoes and they need beans and rice. You don't think Michael Jordan shoes won't mean nothing by 2050? I don't know, that's 25 years. Michael Jordan has been one of the longest standing brands ever. And we kind of drive the culture. Do y'all think that's true? That it won't mean nothing? Do you think black people will drop Jordans and stop the support and stop making it the trending item by 2050? Do you support Black Lives Matter? No, I do not support Black. Do y'all support Black Lives Matter? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's see what Charleston White has to say about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. I ain't fought in one bitch, let alone three gay bitches nowhere. No comment. Would y'all follow three gay women anywhere? Or would you even follow one gay woman anywhere? And that ain't to disrespect the gay culture. Uh, I just think the man is supposed to lead. And, and Black Lives Matter, they don't fight a nigga with them child support arrears that's getting mistreated by the child support system. Do y'all think uh, some of these companies should be helping black men to get abused by the child support system? Let me know in the comment section below. I was disappointed in the motherfucker that boy beat that K. I was hoping he was going right back to jail. I swear I was. I ain't bullshit. I know it's a lot of people say, man, I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. I don't know what kind of person you is. I wish jail on anybody. Would you wish jail on your worst enemy? Or do you feel like wishing jail on someone is too far gone? But I was sure wishing jail on that motherfucking me, Catrell boy, Cantrell. These niggas is disheartened. They'll come shoot up your block and come back again. They say, we'll spin again. And when you raise up and all the glass on the floor and you think, mama, y'all all right? Kevin, y'all right? Say, look, I 
Well, well, it's, well it's, but by the time you raise up and ask is everybody all right, they coming back again, shooting again. <laughs> the difference between me and any other character, I'm saying, hey, y'all, I'm in character. Hey, y'all, I'm in character. Hey, y'all, I'm in character. When I wake up and I say, man, look at this big old pretty house I live in with my wife. I'm getting on national TV saying I don't cheat on my wife. I mean, my wife don't suspect me cheating on her. There should be some women in the comments. He a lying motherfucker. This would be some motherfucker saying, man, he lying. He get high. He talk about dumb. I mean, I, I, I talk about everything. He got that booty butt lift on the belly. Yeah, yeah. You ever heard of somebody getting a booty butt lift on their belly? Let's be with Charleston Wade. That's to say about that. He got that booty butt lift on the belly. Yeah, yeah, he got that booty butt lift on the belly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, I knew these nigga been cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasted his motherfucking money. Yeah, I would have I would have pumped that. I would have pumped that that I would have pumped that fat into that dick. Have y'all ever heard of pumping fat into your junk? Yeah, yeah, they say you can have a dick transplant. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah, I'm gonna... Have y'all ever heard of that? I'm gonna pump them, that six-pack. Yeah, I'm gonna put 12 inches on that dick. Putting 12... No diddy, bro. No diddy. Yeah, 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 fuck a six-pack, nigga. I know, man, yeah, I knew he was bad built. I'm the one told him he was bad built. I'm the one helped... I'm, I was the inspiration for band man Kiwi to get the, uh, the the booty butt lift on on his belly. Yeah, yeah, I'm the inspiration for that. I, I'm, I'm the one broke him down and told him, nigga, them, them motherfucking Gucci's and Balenciago clothes is made for a slim nigga like me. Yeah, yeah, he, he knew he had to go get him one of them little bitty bodies. <laughs> now I'm back to... It's crazy. Shoot the school up. I'm with him. I'm in the passenger seat. I'm in the guy's passenger seat. Drive, Kanye got me. Let's ride, nigga. Run the car into the building, and we'll jump out once we crash in, nigga. I'm in the passenger seat with him. If he don't want me in the passenger seat, and he say, "Man, I'm in this by myself," I done snuck in the trunk. When he get to the school, I'm jumping out the trunk. Say, "No, nah, nigga, you wasn't leaving me behind. I'm with him." Boy, when Kobe Bryant went up there and them would get that old knee fixed, and that old white girl took him on a tour. And he went up there and gave that white girl some of that, some of that nigga's torpedo without no rub on. He just, I'm sorry with the young girl here, but listen, he, they, he give her that torpedo and the boy didn't use protection. He got a wife at home. The girl holler rape. Boy, holler, they, boy raped the white gal in Denver. Boy, Kobe Bryant. Allegedly. Boy, allegedly. Allegedly. Well, I've been alleged to many things and it ain't been proven, so fuck. That's crazy. Did y'all ever hear about that about Kobe Bryant? Allegedly, nigga, they calling me a rat and it ain't no proof. So we gonna say Kobe raped the white girl. Nigga, the white girl said he did. The white family don't lie on ball playing niggas. Have y'all ever heard of a white woman lying on ball playing dudes? I can't recall. Think about this, huh? Black people ain't gave nine goddamn dollars to Black Lives Matter. Them been white folk giving that. Liberal white folks, homosexual white folks, gay. Have any black people out there in the community uh, ever given money to Black Lives Matter? Let me know in the comment section below. White people. That's been everybody but black folk giving to Black Lives Matter. Now, keep this in mind. Black Lives Matter is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. So they have to hire her as the CEO. So she gets a salary. Right? She gets a salary. Bad as it sounds, they get a salary. Uh, goodwill. 501c3, they get salaries. <clears throat> and they get good salaries. That's why black people try to get them a 501c3. So don't get mad at her for doing what black people do every day. That's mm -hmm. why you think everybody got a nonprofit. Yeah. <laughs> they try to get the goddamn money so they can go buy them a house in the white folk neighborhood. Who want to live with a bunch of bunch of niggas? And you got this kind of money. Says, Nigga, please. <laughs> who want to who wanna live among a bunch of niggas with this kind of money? Nigga, everybody trying to get to the white folks' neighborhood. We all live. Y'all didn't get uh, mad at Snoop Dogg. He live around white folks. Uh, y'all ain't mad about Jay-Z and Beyonce. He got some niggas' money and went all around uh, white folks. So they just being hypocritical. I mean, we all want to get us some money and go live around white folks. He can't go back. What do y'all think about that? Y'all think that's all that uh, black folk want is to get a low amount of money and then move out of their neighborhoods? Let me know in the comment section below. In the end, the trolling incidents took a hilarious 
showcasing the sheer entertainment value of Charleston White and such interactions he has online. It's moments like these that remind us why we love diving into the world of internet shenanigans. If you've enjoyed this roller coaster ride of emotions, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for more, more gut busting content. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback keeps us going. See me, Tuber out. Peace.